Hunting is, is part of, of us um, from many, many centuries. And why I'm saying this is because we do need people like us to be out there and to be able to create a balance. I'm Anthony, I'm 32 years old and I'm a gamekeeper in Scotland. So I'm Belgian and I've had a chance to grow up on a shooting estate. I've been very close to nature from a young age and that's the attraction I had to um, pursue in, for my career. And I have to thank my father maybe to have given me the virus of uh, shooting. It was a dream to be a gamekeeper, a stalker at first. Um, I was always attracted by it and to pursue my career or make a career of being a gamekeeper, um, I came to England and studied uh, in the Lake District. You had a very um, complete package for me um, to train you to manage estates, to try to, to work on a better balance for fauna and flora and especially with the, the species we had on the estate. The dogs for me are very important. I, um, I wouldn't be able to start the day uh, without them. And uh, I've got two of my dogs here and my Labrador Jane has for me been a very, um, very close companion, haven't you? <laughs> and um, I think the first retrieve for every dog is, is a very, very nice moment to, to, to have lived and, and still, Every retrieve is a nice moment um, and I've, I've had the chance to have a very uh, re reliable dog, um, loyal dog and she has done some amazing retrieves. Um, she's a very calm nature dog but she, I like her to work in her own way. I don't try to make them a robot uh, of robots. Uh, I, I, I let her hunt and I can see she has got the pleasure to hunt and to try to find the quarry. And for me, it's, it's, um, it's, I'm, every time she's bringing something back, I've, I've obviously got a big smile. And, and also because I know she, 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 she's living for it. Um, if I put a tweed on, if I've got a gun on my arm, she, she understands what she's going to do. And it's, 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 um, it's a very, we've got an important link uh, because we work, it's a teamwork. Personally, why I'm hunting is because I'm f getting fulfilled with emotions. And for me, it's every, every moment I spend in nature is, is very rich. It's moments that obviously is going to be a memory, and I think you you try anyway to to improve the balance in what you do for nature. On the estate where I work, we uh, are especially uh, a stalking estate, and every time I'm I'm going out to stalk uh, to approach an animal, for me it's very important that. Uh, the animal doesn't know I'm there, so I'm, I'm kind of recreating the the approach of a predator in a normal nature, um, trying to work as a predator, and it's very uh, fulfilling in emotions. Um, if you do um, get to, to 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 shoot or not, um, every moment spent to approach to to get to what you want to see. Um, is, is, is very rich. It, it's something it, it, you have to, to feel it from, from inside and that's what takes me to get out in every kind of weather to do it. Obviously nature keeps surprising you every day and I remember particularly a, a, a young stag um, 
which I was walking on, 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 on the hill in, in Persia, um, on the estate I used to work before. And I, the stag didn't see me and um, I got hidden in the rocks and it, it came really walking really closely. I was in good wind till he reached, till, till actually I winded him and um, because he was coming round me and it was like the animal was was really coming against a wall and stopped and all the the, the smell that we the scent that we for them are obviously a very strong scent went right through the body and I could see the, the whole body really changed and you could you could tell it was getting the whole scent through the body and run away and that's where for me it's it's it might be a very casual story for, for the people out there but for me it was something very important where I understood what the animal were smelling and how did they, they were smelling and and because seeing the animal so close looking at me thinking there is something there but I can't make out what it is but I can I can smell it and the scent was going through the whole body and the whole motion of that was was impressive to see and it, it, it's something that I've lived once but then gave me gave me I, w I went I went I walked home coming down this hill thinking mother nature is always surprising to ensure the future of shooting we need to get the younger generation to be more in contact with nature. We do need um, to, to keep the traditions going, the culture going. It's very important to keep cultures going. Um, we have to accept that we do have to modernize a little bit the, 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 the cultures, um, but not too quick. I think it's always good to look back on what the older generations have done in the past to keep these places like we have the, the chance to, to live in. We are not here to, to push anybody to like shooting, or to be against shooting. It's something that you have to feel. Like I said, we, we, don't, we don't push anybody to think a way or another. You need to come out here. It's not through a screen of a laptop or a phone that you can make proper judgments. And, and I'd be more than happy to take somebody out who is against shooting or not, or wants to learn a little bit more about it, um, but I will share it with, my, with all my passion because I, I, I'm, I'm living it every day. And for me, I can't have a better environment to be in my life.